got a few more, uh, some very interesting stuff I think that's worth talking about. Oh, I thought this was a lovely one. So, um, babies, babies and moral clarity. So study of the day, eight month old babies can tell right from wrong. Eight month old babies can tell right from wrong. Mwah! I kiss the gooey tear stained face of the new buds of the species. Uh, so I'll read a little bit from this. Um, this is something that I've talked about for quite a long time, as long as I can remember, that morality is only a mystery because irrationality is foisted upon us as children. Uh, and morality is not a mystery if it is simply allowed to grow and develop uh, on its own. So, um, so here's the methodology. So uh, 100 babies were tested to judge, and they were supposed to judge social behavior in scenarios where some puppets were less than nice. In one setup, the infants chose their favorite animal hand puppets after watching them either give or take away toys from other good or bad puppets. And they also examined 64 older infants aged 21 months and so on, who were supposed to ask to reward or punish characters that previously helped or harmed another puppet. So the results were five-month-old infants uniformly liked the puppets that acted positively towards their fellow puppets. Eight-month-old babies, however, were more selective. They exhibited a preference for puppets, puppets that were friendly over those that were mean. The older infants uh, physically manifested this inclination by taking treats away from the bad puppets and giving them to the good puppets. See, they acted in a way that's, uh, that redistributed back that which was stolen to the original owners. So by eight months of age, babies can comprehend the notion of reciprocity and can evaluate complex social situations. The findings provide new insights into the protective mechanisms humans use to choose social alliances. So the researcher said in a statement, from as early as eight months, we are watching for people who might put us in danger and prefer to see anti-social behavior regulated. We just need to get out of the way of infants and babies and children and let them develop normally, naturally, and healthily into universal, uh, universally preferable behavior bots. <laughs> you know, that, that all we do when we're babies is we conceptualize right? This thing with four legs is a table, this thing with four legs is a chair, that other thing which people sit on with four legs is also a chair, and then you can identify chairs because you're abstracting into what Aristotle would call the essence or the, the conceptual aggregate of similar characteristics. And the same thing happens in terms of behavior. Uh, so I think that's completely wonderful. I think it's fantastic. And uh, it shows you the degree to which the natural healthy moral development of babies is so interfered with uh, because it's profitable to get people to believe that good is evil and evil is good for people who aren't very good themselves.